Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at my very own convention, and I think it's about time we go ahead and go on a little bit of a collectible hunt here at Collector's World Con 2023. And of course, guys, before we go ahead and show you what is inside, please make sure to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, so just to go ahead and let you know, Collector's World Con um, was hosted for its very first event over here in the Tower Conference Center. Um, and then you can see right there, we have the check-in table. And then this is what was considered our artist alley, or artist kind of like four year. We have some really cool artists here. So we got Levy Arts on this side, Winter's Riddle, Harajuku Buzz. This is pretty awesome artwork. And then here we got Ash Cat. You go ahead and uh, create some really cool, unique um, artwork as well. Then we have Dandy's Candies, oh, we have some candy. And then here we have Danny, create some really awesome little like stickers and anime is pretty cool over here we have dolled with Death cosmetics and then over here you guys can see you got some like uh, cosmetics that's like anime themed and stuff of course they do have some different um collectibles keychains and pop sockets it's super cool and moving over here you guys can see we got moon drop and they sell some pretty awesome prints here custom artwork you got here like stranger things love that one and then finally we end off artist alley with bunny brush art and then this was the merch table right here you know we were selling some posters and t-shirts and we were hosting free giveaways for every single one of our convention guests you go ahead and you um basically get this free ticket you put it in here and then you just get your name drawn from the giveaway stack here are the t-shirt designs and the posters that were numbered and here at collector's roll con we do have mike mcfarland doing signatures and you can see right there all of the different prints here's the banner that we made for them and if you want to go ahead and get your certifications we have here alpha omega and they were absolutely amazing they went ahead and certified all the different signatures that people got throughout the day and then here you can see they also have a cgc signature series and then this was the cosplay booth area um we actually did go ahead and host a cosplay contest these three prizes right here a bunch of our other cosplay guests we had level one cosplay we also have crabby fins and they also had their banners over here on this side and then here was a uh, mini diamond girl and you can see they have a lot of really cute bags accessories so these were super cool and then here you can see some handbags as well so go ahead and check them out all right so now we are actually in the main vendor hall as you guys can see here we have the full super anime store set up they have an insane amount of different collectibles once again you guys can go ahead and check them out they have local stores throughout florida and they actually have one in salt lake city utah all right and then here we have lion gaming store so you can see right here some scarlet and violet 151 elite trainer boxes they have a bunch of different singles here some booster boxes these are pretty awesome the sweet coon v alt art see those beautiful tag teams in full force mewtwo gx as well they also have a few statues that you can go ahead and look at some plushes and collection boxes here at collector's roll con all right and as always we have death over decaf i mean they have some of the best terrariums in the game look at this they got some attack on titan they got some naruto tokyo ghoul my friends absolutely loved it we got some pins on this side here we have some pokeball terrariums as well and they also have some hanging terrariums that you can go ahead and display they've been doing awesome and then look at this beautiful gengar trio like the full evolution line in this massive pokeball that one's really cool all right guys and here in the king hunter booth they got all these awesome really cool like giblets they got some pins on this side but we are here for the funko pops and they always bring some really cool unique pops let's go ahead and show you what awesome pops they have in store for us today all right the first one that sticks out to me is that marvel collector core venom that one's a really cool one 373 and with attack on titan you know having its last episode of course you have to show this formal levi gamestop exclusive cheek Yeager. Um, Hot Talk exclusive and this Captain Levi triple anime exclusive. Then as you guys you can see over here, we have 11 underwater Hot Top exclusive, the Patrick Bateman Chase. We also have over here some Chase uh, Funko Pops right here. You got the Iron Maiden, Jackie Robinson, 11 with Electros, Deadpool Gamer, 11 with Egos Chase. Got that Emerald City Comic Con Boba Fett, that Futura on um, Boba Fett only in Target exclusive. 
that Louis Belcher box lunch. I mean, they just have a bunch of different Funko Pops. And then you don't really get to see these too often. We got the Kingdom Hearts Pete and the Kingdom Hearts Halloween Donald um, Fall Convention exclusive. So those are also really cool. And guys, we are at the Loop Gaming booth. And you guys can see right here, they got the Blades Charizard right there. Um, that one's in a P PSA 6, but again, what a beautiful card. You got Dark Blastoise at a 9.5 CGC. You also have that Delta Species Mew. That one's really cool. Charizard from Celebrations. That Pichu right there was at um, the E-Series, right? Yes. The E-Series, yep. And then you have this promo card, super cool. I mean, definitely I have some really hard to find. That Groudon right there, the alternate art Groudon is absolutely beautiful. And then here they have this alternate art Espeon. They also have this Lano supporter. That one's really nice and a shining new. All right, everyone. And we are here at the Panza Projects booth. You guys probably remember them. They have like all of these really cool like artwork and prints. They also have these uh, trading cards as well. They have stuck more to creating these like original art styles, which honestly I'm a huge fan of. Again, um, you know, you kind of have like the red symbol in the back and then the different uh, Panza characters in their different forms. So I absolutely love it. And then here in the back, you see all of the banners of the characters. It looks absolutely amazing. All right, and here we are at Artsy Animal. And here at Artsy Animal, they actually create these really cool custom shirts. You got here the Flamingo shirt, it's really nice. This one's one of my favorites because it's the Dino Institute. Obviously a nod to Dinosaur from Animal Kingdom, which I absolutely love. Then you have this really nice figment shirts absolutely beautiful and then over here if you're just a fan of sharks these are super cool it's like gummy uh flavored sharks so these are super fun they also have these different plushies right here and you can see it's like a strawberry um seal which is super funny do sell all these really cool custom pins that you can go ahead and check out they also go ahead and sell these different fanny packs that you can choose from and these customizable beanies all right so we are currently here at chris cards and collectibles and the best part is I have never seen this Miles Morales on a subway car in person. And I honestly think it looks really cool. Amazon exclusive, 15 bucks. That's a pretty good price for it. I believe this is the first time I see the Ruben with grilled cheese. Don't quote me on it, but this is an absolutely amazing pop. And then here we have Pinky from Pinky and the Brain in this hard stack protector. And then here you can see they also do sell several um, lounge flies. And here you guys can see they do have a bunch of different graded um, Magic the Gathering cards. Um, and then they also have some here that are just like singles. And then they have a bunch here just kind of like lined up that you can go ahead and look through. And they also have some singles as well. All right, so here we are in the Addictive Collectibles booth. And I do wanna go ahead and point some that are really nice. So right away, you got the um, OG Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers Funko Pop. They actually have the original Leonardo Funko Pop and Raphael in stock. And then here you guys can see this black and white Daryl Dixon. And this one is a Walmart exclusive. And for all the Cuphead fans, they do have a nice selection of them right over here. This is like a pop capsule. This is a Hot Top exclusive collector's edition R2D2. This is really nice. And then here are a few signed pops from the booth and a bunch of different Pokemon Funko Pops as well. All right, and here in the collective all booth, you guys can see they have a, quite a few Chase Funko Pops up there. They also do have um, a really nice San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pop here. And they actually have a sealed Fun Days Box of Fun box from 2021. This was like the at home when they did the Olympics. And then you guys can see right there, but they actually have um, two different Doug Funko Pops. They have a flocked Hot Topic exclusive. They have the regular one. And then you can also see a few different chases. So you got the Scuds and Stitch Glow chase. You got the Inumaki chase. Over there, you can see a bunch of different like hard to find Harry Potter Funko Pops. You got the Bogart as Snape. You got the Remus Lupin Hot Topic exclusive. Basilisk, Target, and the Rita Skeeter San Diego Comic-Con sticker. And a Funimation exclusive stitch. That one's really nice. So here we are at the Figures from Japan booth. And I absolutely love all the different banners that they have over here of different animes. But of course, they do have some nice Funko Pop for you to choose from. But the Madara Uchiha Dark Dragon Trading exclusive. I have not seen that very often. And they also have this Grail Sailor Mercury from Sailor Moon. All right, and then on this side, you see those that Sally Hot Topic exclusive, the Maleficent Hot Topic exclusive, the Maleficent from the movie. A lot of Maleficent, these are super nice. And then the Hot Topic exclusive Cheshire Cat, Santa Jack Skeleton. I mean, if you're a Nightmare Before Christmas fan or a Disney Villains fan, 
definitely these are some nice pops to pick up all right guys so we do want to go ahead and show you this new pop coa that is honestly custom to funko pops you see right there they do have the sticker and they have the um tag underneath and you can actually have a database where you go ahead and see like everything about the uh yeah, certificate of authentication pop. so it'd be that pop your pass number that is that matches on there that's custom fit to the funko pop box shows you uh like for example on this asta pop is dallas reed signing right here this is just generic on your silver this is the same thing you would get with uh, a, a, any competitor but much more data right so it shows you your pop series the pop number which pop it is how it's been authenticated this happens to be a silver level which is just the front uh, the stock photo, but if you had something custom and you wanted, uh, you, you had some custom artwork that you had put on, that's a gold. And then we offer another service, which is all six uh, corners. Uh, that's coming out in the, uh, in the future as well. But it also shows you, you know, where it was signed and uses meta metadata. So no one can ever deny the authenticity of your pop. Where it, uh, where it was signed, when it was signed, uh, who is, was it an affiliate, who witnessed it? Um, and we have uh, just miscellaneous notes, chain of custody on, on who owned the pop. So, oh, if, you okay, pop, so nice. if you had a pop that this was owned by um, a Dallas Reed himself, and then he, you you got this pop and it was sold to you, and then I wanted to sell it to you, you can see that the whole chain of custody uh, on, on that pop. So, so big things coming in 2024. You're going to see us everywhere. Be on the lookout for the the pop uh, authentication service or our, our pass sticker on these pops because you're, you're going to see them everywhere awesome thank you all right everyone so besides the pop coa that we just showed and talked about here we have the lorcana different starter decks and then they actually do have a few of those collections but let's go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, funko pops i do like showing some of the pops that it's hard to find so for example that flash from zootopia is pretty cool the joyce biohazard suit Coraline doll, you don't really see that one too often. Norman Bates, Psycho, Alex the Large, and Alex the Large Mass from Hot Topic, Joker, Summer Convention, Shadow, and then you can see right here some Genshin Impacts with the pre release exclusives. Now let's go ahead and show some of these Grail signed pops that they have. So here you guys can see they do have that Gemini exclusive Batman that is signed. They have quite a few of those um, signed Batman pops and Emperor Palpatine. They are displayed on these really nice capsulations and there's all the information on it. All right. And then we also have this prototype Crazy 88 from Kill Bill. We have this um, San Diego Comic-Con 2013 Predator. And then we have Captain Spaulding Ghostface and a signed Monkey D. Luffy, seven bucks a pop. And then here we are moving towards Pop Life Network and they have probably one of the coolest signed pops. They got a light signed pop right there um, from Death Note, super amazing. They also have the Elastigirl and then pops I don't usually get to see, but here we have the Bilbo Baggins in this like uh, pop armor hard stack. We have Gandalf from The Hobbit, a graded Gollum um, from The Hobbit. That is super nice. And then moving down here, you got some oldies of like Brian. You got the old school Sonic pop. I mean, Freddy Funko is a carnage. Again, Pop Live Network and Iconic Collectibles have some amazing pops. All right, everyone. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have been a little sick this week after the convention that we went to last week. Went ahead and actually had this footage from our very first convention. And we want to go ahead and share it to you guys. Honestly, looking back at it, there was a lot of amazing Funko Pops. A lot of really cool collectibles at the event. And we're just so excited to host our next event. It's going to be bigger. There's going to be more stuff to do. And that's, again, going to be probably towards November of this year. So because I was sick, I was like, this is a perfect week or weekend to go ahead and upload this video. The event as a whole was super fun. If you guys could probably tell in the video, I did sound a little bit tired because we were up since like, what, three or four in the morning. And we only got like two or three hours of sleep. So it was very, very stressful because, you know, running an event is actually really tough. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more convention videos just like this, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys on the next one.